Hello and welcome to another video from Project Cars and today we're at Le Mans or Le Mans and there's a hell of a lot of cars on here my god there is a lot on here now as you know the AI can be a little bit bumper carish, a little bit of uh, get the fuck out of my way so I'm kinda glad that I was actually near the back of the grid on this one sort of well three quarters of the way back and as we come down to this first three or four turns with it being the AI I tend to hold back a little bit um, it just seems to be their safer option you're still going to get a little bit of bump and grind but uh, it's certainly not going to uh, be as bad as if you're near the front definitely so as we come down here now the, there's a couple of things I wanted to highlight in this video the first one is you may notice that there's no steering wheel on screen I was mucking around in the options and didn't even realize you can turn it off so if you are playing with a steering wheel um, again well it's personal preference isn't it turning the steering wheel off with your monitor quite close to the wheel makes you feel like you're actually using the wheel rather than uh, guiding a game a, bit more, a little bit more immersive shall we say um, and setting your own degrees of turning in your wheel is, a, is a, obviously a preference thing I think I've got mine at 720 is it I think it's something like that uh, 900 and above is just got to turn the wheel too many times to get around some of these corners so let's bomb down to the bottom of here at nearly 200 miles an hour and uh, let's see how we get on now this vehicle like most of the super high powered vehicles you really got to be careful putting the accelerator down when going around the corner you've got to be gentle Jesus on the pedal otherwise you just absolutely spin it so there's no way you can literally put your foot down from basically nothing to full without it squirming all over the place and if you've got the decent steering wheel whoa way overcooked that you can really feel that the tires when they're actually losing grip and skidding as well absolutely brilliant now as a bomb down here this is going to highlight something about not just this game but most racing games this is the first time I've done this track now obviously I've done this in other racing games motorbike GP games and all sorts so I know roughly the layout of the track but for project cars I'm going to be playing either this view or the helmet cam view um, there's no other view there's no way I'm going to be playing externally that's just too console-ish for me so it's going to be these views and with these views you can actually change on the keyboard you can position your seat up down forward or back and as we get to the back end of this course this is where practice is really going to come in because as the light starts to drop at this point I think this is set to about 8 o'clock at night just as the sunset whoa I overcooked that as well um, I've turned the racing line off so I'm at the minute I'm judging my breaking points at the AI and you'll notice in a lot of my other videos I said that when I when they break I break blah 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 well I found the solution to that I was only getting 40% braking pressure on my pedal purely because I was plugging my wheel in after my PC was on because I was using it for other things if I switch off the PC everything connected it works perfectly so that's that one solved now I just need to unlearn what I've already learned and um, yeah as you can see on screen this is highlighting what this video is about really you really need to learn these tracks and work out your own breaking points there may be like those guys at the side of the track in orange or there's a cone and you know to, to start breaking then and that's really really gonna help you I'm not sure what these flashing lights mean I'm sure somebody can tell me I'm sure they're an official race thing I mean go for it I'll put your lights on um, as you're about to see, I cannot see where some of these corners are coming up, especially when we're doing over 130 miles an hour. Like now, I cannot see where this next turn is, so I'm having to be uh, really quite ginger going around some of these some of these bends, and that's really not going to help you. Like this one, I cannot see for call. Um, so get in, practice, get the racing line on, and learn your track, and um, overall, that'll make your racing experience much more enjoyable. Anyway, this has been a quick look at Le Mans, and uh, fantastic track. We all know that, don't we? Great for speed, great for multiplayer, especially over four or five uh, races. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. 
Actually, before we head off, I just wanted to say that even on some of these races, I'm coming in towards the back end of the pack, maybe say 27th out of 30th. The, the way the game's made, you you're gonna have a an actual great racing experience, even if you're at the back of the pack. Sure, there's going to be an adrenaline rush when you're at the front fighting for it, but it's still just as visceral and as exciting to take one or two places or lose a couple of places as it is to be at the front of the pack. So if you're not the best of drivers, don't let that put you off on this game in the multiplayer. Um, you're still going to have an absolutely brilliant time. <laughs> 